Hello grade 5 learners! Welcome to another day of learning. I hope that you are happy today and excited to learn our new lesson. Make sure that you have your learning activity sheets in Science 5, Quarter 4, Week 1 on describing how rocks turn into soil. Before we start our lesson for today, let us pray first. Before it last starts, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord and Father of all, Thank you for today. Thank you for ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. There are three standards that you are going to follow. First, pay attention to the teacher as she discusses the lesson. Second, always hold your pen and paper for you to answer the questions and take down notes the important details in our lesson. Third, avoid yourselves from distractions so that you can focus on what thoughts that you are going to write. At the end of the day, you are expected to A. Define weathering B. Identify the agents of weathering C. Explain how weathering works Before we start our lesson, let's have first a game and this game is called I am bigger than you you are going to arrange the picture of the rocks according to their sizes as to the phrases in it. Put it in a space provided with numbers 4 to 1. Then, write the sentence that you have formed in your paper. Did you get the correct answer? Great! Have you formed the sentence? Good! And what is the sentence? Correct! The sentence is, Big rocks become smaller and smaller and smaller until they are soil. But there are processes how rocks turn into soil. Do you have any idea? Good! Are you ready to know? Great! So, watch this. What can you say about the video clip? So listen carefully because I will explain to you how weathering works. Earth is mostly made up of rocks, various sizes, shapes, and colors. Though rocks seem to be very hard, dense, and indestructible, they still break. The breaking of rocks into fragments or smaller pieces is known weathering. Weathering is an important process that contributes to the shaping of the Earth's surface. The breaking of rocks results in the formation of soil and different landforms. This is also the reason of the amazing rock formations. Here are examples of physical weathering or mechanical weathering. Swiftly moving water. Rapidly moving water can lift, 
For a short period of time, rocks from the stream bottom. When these rocks drop, they collide with other rocks, breaking tiny pieces off. Another is ice wedging. Ice wedging causes many rocks to break. This refers to the freezing and melting of water within small crevices in the rock surface. Next is plant roots. Plant roots can grow in cracks. The pressure of a confined growing root can be substantial. This pressure makes cracks in the rocks larger and as roots grow, they break rocks apart. Lichens are tiny plant-like living things grow on the outsides of the rocks. They slowly break down rock to get nutrients. Weathering includes disintegration and decomposition. Disintegration is a mechanical process that breaks big mass of rocks into smaller pieces, while decomposition is a process that forms new substance from minerals in rocks, Water, air, and substances dissolve in water react with minerals in rocks. In this integration, water gets into the cracks and pours in rocks. When water freezes, it expands and exerts pressure on the rocks, causing the rocks to break. This integration also happens as plant roots grow on the cracks of rocks. They exert more pressure on the rocks, causing the widening and the loosening of rock fragments. There are six agents of weathering. First is water, second wind, third temperature, four plants, five animals, and six human. Water can break rocks in different ways. Strong waves may cause it to break. Water seeps through the cracks in the rocks. The water can expand and turn into ice when it gets colder. This can trigger rocks to break as well. Wind. Wind is another weathering agent that results in many lovely formations like the Mahayo Arc in Sabtang Island, Batanes, Philippines. As the wind blows, it carries sand or small rock particles that scratch to the rock surface. Mechanical weathering may occur as a result of this, resulting in a variety of rock formations. Temperature The expansion of rocks occurs as they are exposed to different temperatures. Rocks contract when exposed to cold temperatures. The repeated expansion and contraction of rocks due to changes in temperature results weathering. Plants Weathering can also be triggered by other plants, such as lichens, ferns, and mosses. It can grow on rocks, causing them to break apart. Eventually, metabolic or life processes of these plants will cause the gradual breakage of rocks into smaller pieces. Trees can also trigger weathering. Its growing roots can break the cemented ground and search for more minerals in the soil. Animals Animals that live underground also contribute to weathering. Borrowing animals break rocks into pieces as they dig deeper. Humans Humans also contribute to the weathering of rocks. Subdivision developers use a bulldozer to flatten mountains or hills to build houses. When repairing roads, some construction workers use a jackhammer to break up boulders of rock. Mining companies extract stones or rocks from a quarry or open pit mine. Some miners throw dynamites and other explosives on quarry sites to get more rocks or stones. This mining activity can trigger landslides. Again, what are the agents of weathering? The agents of weathering are water, wind, temperature, plants, animals, and humans. 
among of these agents of weathering, which of them contributes or influence to the pandemic that we are facing today? Yes, humans. Humans contributes to the spread of the disease because of not following the safety protocols. So, we should follow the protocols like the social distancing. Now, let's have an activity. In activity 1, you are going to choose among the phrases from the box that best defines weathering by putting a check on the space provided. The movement of sediments from broken rocks, the breaking down of rocks, the dropping of sediments in a new place. What is your answer? Correct! Weathering is the breaking down of rocks. In this activity, you are going to match the agents of weathering in column A and how it contributes to the weathering in column B. Choose the letter of the best answer. Did you get the correct answer? Great! Who got the perfect score? Very good! On the last activity, you are going to explain how each agent of weathering will impact the process. The rubric is given to you as your guide. To check your learning, you are going to answer the following questions. What is weathering? Correct! Weathering is the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces. Number two, what are the agents of weathering? The agents of weathering are water, wind, temperature, plants, animals, and humans. Number three, how rocks turn into soil? The rocks turn into soil by the process of weathering. Number four, since our school belongs to one of the hazardous area, what will you do as a grade 5 pupil to prevent soil erosion? For your assignment, make a poster out of the given slogan. Put it in a one-fourth illustration board. The rubric is given to you as your guide. Did we achieve the objectives for the day? Great! We are done about the processes of how rocks turn into soil and the agents of weathering and also how it works. I hope you learned something today and see you on our next lesson. Goodbye class!